Hi, I'm Tech Sergeant Deb Decker from Bagram Airfield, and this is Freedom Watch Afghanistan. <music> Afghans in the Ghazni province are running the Taliban out of their villages, literally. Coalition forces found a weapons cache this week in Ghazni. While they were investigating that, a group of Afghans saw insurgents digging into the road that led to the cache. The Afghans attacked the Taliban, and the extremists fled the area, leaving behind a half-buried anti-tank mine in the road. The Afghans then alerted the coalition convoy as they were leaving the weapons cache that they destroyed. Explosives experts recovered the mine, and medics treated one wounded Afghan before the convoy safely returned to their base. The recent landing of a C-5 on Bagram Airfield means a new capability for the theater. The Combined Forces Air Component Commander, Lieutenant General Gary North, says this means Bagram can be used as a strategic airlift hub for Operation Enduring Freedom. He said just the ability of a C-5 to land at Bagram is no small feat for the airmen who work to make it happen. Our civil engineers and contractors did a tremendous amount of work to upgrade the runway uh, such that it could be able to take uh, an airplane of the size of the C-5. The landing gives the commander many options, including theater direct delivery for airlift. Uh, we can fly the C-5 uh, nonstop from the United States for deliveries into here if we needed to. Uh, we can use wide-body contract airplanes now uh, direct, and that, that allows us to be more efficient, it allows us to be more effective, and allows us to have quicker deliveries when we need to. Still ahead on Freedom Watch Afghanistan, another Air Force milestone, this time for A-10 pilots. Hello, I'm C. Airman Kozart. I'm deployed out of Inter Lake Air Base, Turkey, and I'm deployed to Bagram, Afghanistan. I work base supply. I'm pretty much responsible for everything that comes in and out of this base, mainly aircraft parts. I pretty much ship the broken parts out so they get fixed and bring them back in. One soldier from the 173rd Airborne Brigade Combat Team helps Task Force Bayonet stay effective as a lethal fighting force, but he only uses his hands. Sergeant Daniel Martwick can fix almost every weapon system in Bayonet's area of operations, from 9mm pistols to howitzers. for their willingness to fly close to the ground, providing close air support, and sometimes even taking fire themselves while defending troops on the ground. Air Force Staff Sergeant Harry Kibbe takes a look at the A-10 Squadron at Bagram and introduces us to some pilots who made it their job to provide as much support as possible. Flying out of Bagram Airfield, the pilots from the 354th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron have had plenty of opportunities to bring the firepower of their A-10s to the aid of Afghanistan's ground forces. It's a job they take pride in and one they don't mind putting in extra time doing. Uh, every pilot Air Force wide is their goal to fly as much as possible whenever they can. Um, that's what we do, that's the pay we get is to go out there and be able to be in our aircraft and support the ground forces. The Bulldogs of the 354th have spent the last six months providing close air support for the American and International Security Assistance Forces in the AOR. During that time, four of the pilots reached the milestone combat sorties. What's even more humbling and, and more uh, important to me is uh, the amount of support that we've been able to give the Army uh, and the coalition and the ISAF and, and all the forces here on the ground. At the end of the day, when the, uh, we find out that no friendlies were injured or knowing that we were able to, uh, to protect them and keep our, our bros alive, uh, that's probably the most gratifying part. 100 combat sorties, a milestone that means these A-10 pilots have made the most of their opportunity to defend their brothers in arms on the battlefield. Staff Sergeant Harry Kibbe, Afghanistan. And that's it for this edition of Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Tech Sergeant Deb Decker. Thanks for watching.